Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about the uh, Sadaya Utas or the concept of, of concubine in the Islam. Uh, where it is when you're taking a woman's slave and you're allowed you now to, to be your uh, slave girl or slave sex girl or something like that. Let's see. Uh, but when we when we talking about this one uh, about with Muslims, they always bring us hadith that we don't have captive women. We only captive captive uh, uh, take the woman that is already fighting or take a sword or something like this. Uh, we're gonna go to this thing for, uh, in a detail and then see from all the hadith we have and from the sira and from the history books. Our first start we uh, uh, for this hadith that uh, always Muslim bring that. Uh, uh, he said that uh, a Rasul found a dead woman was killed in one of his battle and he said this woman cannot be fight or uh, she wasn't fighting why you kill her. So the, the, the story behind this woman that uh, uh, Khalid ibn walid killed her, you know, killed her without any reason and the Rasul was angry and said no don't kill her. But the reason what uh, Rasul was angry because the woman was dead is not because the woman is dead, because the woman is a spoil, is a, is a thing, you know, they're going to sell her or going to use her, that's why he's not happy. It's not because he did say we don't kill the children, it's because they are like, uh, they are merciful on the children, no. They don't kill the children because they can sell them or the women they can use them as a slaves girls. So the second hadith we're going to bring here is hadith and sabaya autas. We have a hadith, short uh, narration hadith, just to give us, you know, uh, explanation for the for the verse 24, uh, surah 4. Surah Nisa al-Aya, al 24, surah Nisa 424, this one. Wal min al-Nisa illa ma malakat aymanukum. So the hadith is here said, the hadith in Sahih Muslim, Kitab Arada'a, Kitab Arada'a, Bab Jawaz Wat Nasbiya, Bad al Istibra, Wa in Kana la Hazaj. This said, the door for permitting to intercourse with the slave captive uh, after the Istibra, after the, the womb clean or after the period, you know, uh, menstruation period, Wa in Kana la Hazaj. And if if she have already husbands and they don't have to be divorced she already have husbands he said here two seven three five we have one two, and three and four and five six and seven narration abu sa'ad al-khudari who narrated the hadith said that uh, that the rasul the prophet when uh, when yom hunayn hunayn is a battle you know battle between the muslim and mushrikeen well, especially army of hawazin called the Hawazin, they was gathered after the Prophet opened Mecca and then they, I think they are gathering, they was to fight them, I'm not sure the, the news uh, is, uh, you're never gonna trust what's happened but they say, the Muslim sources as we're gonna see, they say they was coming to them and the Prophet go after them but uh, in the same thing they say our grand Prophet send his uh, eye to see what's happening and then he go after them but we don't know exactly who is going after who but they say he sent an army to Otas and they sent an army to Otas this is place and they found an army down there they found the people down there an army and they fight them and they, uh, they kill some of them and they capture some of the women and children and some of their men and then some of uh, of the prophet uh, companion they, 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 they be shamed they don't want you know they don't want to have intercourse with him because they knew you know these people knew them uh, knew them uh, husbands and knew their families you know there are some of them uncles down there some they knew you know it's not like you you somebody far away from you you don't know him these people know these people and now this is wife of this person another one is wife of the first some of them do the one but some of them want to you know and here is the problem then when they when this happened they go to when he said here where the Rishiyan are al Rishiyan it ya Rasul ma awji ma'ahu he said al Rishiyan that you go into the wife and sleep with her min ajli azwajihna al mushrikin yeah so Allah and then Allah sent this verse wal muhsanat min al nisa illa ma malakat aymanukum ay that they are uh, no permitted to you in idatuhun if the 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 period finished. حدثنا أبو بكر حدثنا حدثنا خليل حدثنا حدثنا لا سيم ناريشنا جان حدثنا سعد من سرية عن سرية حنين سرية سرية is a is a military but is not like an army so army is about five hundred in Arab when you have about five hundred people you call it an army under five hundred you call it a سرية and سرية again they want to go by night 
Salaria go by day and Saria go by night. This that's why I you understand from this hadith that they were going at night. So the fight was in the night time, not in the daytime. We mean a hadith Yazid bin Zuraya and Nahu Kala il Ilama Malakat Aymanukum of Allah Halakum and Quran Kadaiditun. Yeah, they said the same thing. This guy as well after the period finish. Let's go to the tafsir of this verse. Well, Muhsanatu min al Nisa'i Ilama Malakat Aymanukum. Where is tafsir? Tafsir Ibn Kathir, yeah, this one. That is Tafsir Ibn Kathir in wiki source, so uh, it is easy for me to bring it up here. And it says here, this is the verse we are going to explain, especially this part of the verse, the first part of the verse. Wal muhsanatu min al nisaki illa, except, except that your right hands possess. He said here, Ibn Kathir explained when he said and also prohibited to you are all married women except except those your right hand possess. Surah 4 verse 24 means he prohibited foreign women that is married except those your right hand possess. Meaning except those you have possessed them by capturing in the war and you are allowed to have intercourse with them when her period ends after her womb is clean. This is the reason Allah sent this verse. I again Fastahlalna Forujahun. He said then we we just go for them, you know. When this verse come in, then they they they, 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 they meaning it this verse that if you capture if you if you capture uh, uh, let's uh, explain this uh, this part first before we go to, to the second. He said here if you are a war, Muslim is a war between uh, between Kufar and Muslimin and if they capture women and if she's married and you knows, you know, and you already know her husband, you are allowed to have sex with them. But sex, as we're going to explain, is not married. It's like Muslims said, it's not married. Because here he said, فَاسْتَحْلَلْنَا فَرُوجَهُنَّ And it's become permissible for us, even, he said here, وَلَهُنَّ وَلَهُنَّ أَزْوَاجِ They already have husbands. And he said here, فَاسْتَحْلَلْنَا فَرُوجَهُنَّ is mean he remained that the, the, the act marriage that she was uh, you know have before with her infidel husband is be cancelled and there is no married here because there is because there is no married here there is fastahlanna farujahunna and the married if you divorce a, a woman in islam is at least about three four months you know you wait in period you know to 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 to, to get married but here is only after one clean period and it could be one day it could be one week it could be one month uh, nobody knows and it could be even uh, you know one hour you know it could be straight away because if um, if she was if she was already have a blood period and today is finished and nobody they knows nobody you know touch her it's already you know it's already permissible for them وهكذا رواه الترمذي الترمذي عن احمد بن منيع السيم هي السد حديث رواه النسائي النسائي ان هيز بوك سنن النسائي حديث ابن سفيان الثوري وشعب بن الحجاج ازوال ثلاث عن عثمان 3 اوف ذم فروم عثمان البثي رواه ابن ماجه ابن ماجه ازوال من حديث اشعب الصوار عن عثمان بن البثي ازوال رواه مسلم في صحيحه مسلم ازوال من حديث شقه عن قتاده كلاهما and Qasada Kira Abdul Khalil. I mean, this hadith you have like, uh, like, uh, two, like, well, like 60, 70 narration people know this hadith, you know, narrate this hadith. You know, there is no way Muslim going to tell me this hadith, you know, this hadith is. Uh, is a fake or a this hadith is more you know more more proof than quran itself you know quran only you can bring to evidence you bring to evident people and something quran writing and you have to bring two people with you witness and they can write quran this hadith is agree upon like uh, dozens of uh, uns of the sahaba agree upon this hadith he said here with the uh, he say here if you sell a, a slave she she divorced and if you catch a woman and she already and she already married and you sell her she already divorced and the guy who gonna buy her she, she don't have to 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 get her divorce from her husband this is uh, Imam Ahmed Imam Ahmed said he gonna bring the hadith now about Sabaya Autas Hadatana Ali ibn Qatada Hadatana yeah and Abi Sa'ad al Khudari. And Abi Sa'ad al Khudari said, This is the hadith. Uh, Imam Ahmed said, Ibn Razzaq, Sa'id, Sufyan, Tariq, I'm going to narration here. Seven narration, as we said. Al Khudari said, We capture a woman from Autas. And they have their husband. And we were ashamed to have sex with them, knowing that they have married. And we asked the Prophet, peace be upon him. And this verse came down. 
uh, uh, so we took it as a permissible for us to sleep with them on the authority of uh, Abd Said Al Khudari, to com the companion of the Messenger of God, captured women on the day of Otas, and they had husbands from the people of the polytheism. You know, they have people. You know, they have husbands, and there were some of them companion of the Messenger of God left in. Uh, it's sh uh, shame, you know, felt it's shame from their behavior, he said. This verse was revealed in, uh, in the, and also prohibited to you, all married women, except those your right hand possess, you know. So this is was 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 known before the problem. This is was known before, but it was known for for non-married women. There was non-married women. You capture them. They are you know they are slaves. And the Arab always agree upon this one. You know they was agree upon this. If you attack us, you know and catch a woman single from us, you know it's you know it's no you know it's nothing on you if you if you sleep with her or intercourse with her or take her as slave. It was okay. But the married woman, as soon as she get married, it was you know, it was like something big. You know no. Nobody do it before, and this is a new concept. You know, this is well, when they say Islam bring a new morality or a new thing to the world. This is wasn't before. You know, this is a new invention and the worst. You know, it make even the Sahaba. You know, even the Sahaba who like uh, they are killing and they killing and they are worse people, and they still you know they feel not. No, that you know they feel they, they aren't good to you know to have sex with them. They, they feel it's bad and a shame for them. Because the captivity of the woman, like, as I said, in, in between Muslim and believer was, uh, you know, unpickable that time. And, and the women were, uh, you know, divided among the victors, you know, as a spoils. And when the captive, uh, captive woman fell into arrow of one of their, the fighter, he took possession, you know, possession of her so he can sell her or if he wanted uh, to keep her as a slave. Or in uh, intercourse with her in the in the oat of the right hand possess, you know, especially he said here the, the oat of right hand possess, you know, you have to, you know, it's it's not uh, the oat of the marriage, you know, the oat of right hand possess. And they have one, uh, I listen, one Saudi sheikh, he said, uh, I did bring, I think, his uh, his uh, clip in another video. He said, the oath, no, the oath of uh, of right hand possess is uh, stronger than married. You know he can break the married oath. You know if she, if she's married and she's captured by the Muslim, she is halal. She is permitted for Muslim and her marriage. Uh, the, we come in here to do that al ma'ad al fasl thalit fasl fi azwat hunain to see the story in a in a whole picture and what happened uh, what happened that day. From my understanding to to the story when I read it, I thought probably read it two times, three times, just so to get a clear picture. They said that the Prophet when he opened Mecca, when he opened Mecca, they were with him. They was with him, uh, two thousand from Mecca people. You know, they 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 get the Islam, they, they they convert to Islam and they they stay with him to fight, and they bring two thousand from his friend when he come to conquer Mecca. Now this two and ten thousand become twelve thousand. Then he said he straight away gather them. And leave somebody in Mecca, and he straight away go to Hawazin. Is a place you know called Hawazin, between and there are a river or some something down there like a river called Autas. He going to find them straight away. You know, as soon as he open Mecca, he collect the army and he go. And in his way, and in his way, he go to another politius, some politius man, and he ask him for for weapons and he give him weapons you know and he promised him to give him more when he come back when he defeat the the the, the kuffar and he come back so as we as they say here when they go and they start fighting thing get bad you know thing get bad and the and the muslims nearly gonna get beat and the rasul starts shouting you know call people to come around me call people to come around me you know i think they was nearly to kill him then he was uh, doing share you know doing uh, a poem like this said, I am the I am the hits here. I am Nabi Yula Kadib and Ibn Abdul Muttalib. He said, I am the Prophet without a lie. I am the the, the son of Abdul Muttalib. Sahih, you know, where well, this is in, in the Sahih, and he say after that his prophet took a took a something in from the floor from door and throw it on the kuffar and they get beat, you know. So let's see. He said here, Qala Ibn Ushaq. And when the when the Mushrikeen, Ibn so when the polytheists were defeated, they came to the Taif with Malik ibn Auf. They go they go to Taif with Malik ibn Auf. Some of them uh, camped in Autas. Autas is a place nearby. Some of them camped down there, and some of them head toward the, the palm tree. 
think there, there is a, there is a, some palm tree down there and some of them go come there and the messenger of God sent the uh, sent in the trace of those who had it before Otas Abu Amr al Ansari. And then a Rasul, uh, he go this this uh, people who go and uh, go to Taif, he go to this one, you know, and send another another piece of his army following Otas one and this one. This one when they defeated, you know, you have to get into the contact context. These people have been defeated. You know, it's not like when when you when you fight and you lose, then what you left behind is uh, is is they are for Muslims. You can take it or for other people. You know, this is war like this. You fight anything, I lose anything you left behind. I will take it from you. But this is the aftermath of Ota uh, of uh, of uh, Hunain, and they get defeated the uh, Mushrikeen and they run away. You know, I think they wo they run away to them uh, Otas, I think them children and wife was there just to run away to take them children and go away because they are defeated or probably they're gonna become Muslim, nobody knows. But they go back, you know, they're not fighting. So they send here, they said after them, you know. He sent after them. Uh, and the messenger of God sent the traces, you know, the traces after those who headed before Otas, Abu Amir, Abu Amir al Ashari. His name Abu Amir al Ashari, then they catch up some of people who have been defeated. You no, know? he said catch up them. You know, they catch them up. They run after them. They catch those people who have been defeated. And so they engage in a fighting, and he was shot and with an arrow, and he was killed. Abu Amir, Abu Amir, he was shot with the arrow, and he killed. So Abu Musa and his uh, nephew, I think nephew, he take his uh, the, he take his place. Uh, you know, he take his place uh, as an army controller, as army general, as a Shari took the banner, yeah, took the banner. As Abu Musa, as Abu Musa al Ashari took the banner, he has, he, he was his nephew, so he fought them and God conquered them. You know, conquer, you know, conquest here or conquer him. Yeah, conquer them. So God defeated them and someone killed the guy who murdered Abu Amir, you know, Abu Amir al Ashari. So the messenger of God said, My God bless you, know, a prayer on him and this and that. Malik ibn Awf went to the to fortify. So here, here, uh, we're, not, we're not going to uh, we're going to talk about we're not going to talk about what's happened in the Taif. You know, we're just going to happen uh, what happened in Otas because uh, because what happened in Taif that these people go to fortify. You know, go to hide in a uh, in a in a fortify in a fort. And after the messenger of God commanded the captivity to spoil, to sp uh, to spoil, to be collected. That when one get when this one get beaten in her in in Otas, they took you know all the money, and wives and children and you know money and uh, gold and everything you know, and camels and everything. Then when the prophet he cannot find those people who go hiding in in Taif. Then he ordered to, to the money and people to be collected so they can be counted. You know, he said here, Malik ibn Awf went on to fortify in Taif fort and after the messenger of God commanded the captivity and the spoils to be collected and all of this was gathered and they directed it to Ja'rana. They directed it to Ja'rana. So they took it because there was too many people, you know, and they took it to a place called Ja'rana. The captivity was 6,000 head. It was 6,000 people that catch, they caught that, that day. And uh, and the camel, camel was 24,000 camel. And uh, the sheep, there was more than 40,000 sheep, they say, and one more than 4,000 ounces of silver. So the messenger of God waited for them to come before him for a few ten at night. I don't think this one. Uh, Muslim always say, but they say in the fiqh that the the uh, the ghanaim uh, you know, uh, you know collected and and give straight away. You now you're not waiting, you know. But sometimes they say waiting, but sometimes you don't say anything. But I am sure, hundred percent sure, when they are not waiting, they collect the straight away and they start giving people. فسألهم أربعة من الإبل وأربعين شاة فإن كان فارسا ثم بدأ بتقسيم الأموال uh, he started with the money and divided it uh, and and gave uh, and gave the otter their heart. The the otter her heart here they say al muallafati qulubuhum. Yeah, wa ata al muallafati qulubuhum. Al muallafa qulubuhum. Those people who not Muslim, yeah, but they fight with you. They are they are fight like mercenary or something. You know, you buy them with money. 
you know and those people who take first you know they come in and take whatever they want first then after the you know then after they split thing on, on people you know the, then even uh, then one guy come in he's from these people you know these people you're allowed to give them money but they are not muslim and they help you is abu sufyan abu sufyan we know he's uh, he's the father of uh, muawiyah who take control after the sahaba died you know abu muawiyah abu sufyan been uh, harp come in and gave him 40 ounces and 100 camel so he said my son yazid i said my, my my son yazid ibn muawiyah he said my son yazid and he gave them uh, 40 ounces and 100 camel again and he said my son muawiyah because uh, muawiyah is his, his father is Yazid and he's a father of Yazid who Abu Sufyan you know that's the, the they who control you know after the Sahaba die you know who, who take the, the Khilafah so he give him 40 ounces and 100 camels he said my son is Muawiyah he said give him 41 ounces and 100 camels so now then Zaid ibn, uh, ibn Tabit order ordered the spoiler and uh, the people to be counted you see then after you know after those people you know those people who support you but they are not muslim you know muallafa qulubum they are just with you with a heart you know you alif bayna qulubum you buy them with money you know you give them the money and you buy them with money to be with you because if muawiyah you know abu sufyan he doesn't give him that 40 camel or that old money you now he won't you know he won't support him and this uh, this prophecy won't go far away from there now then he ordered the tablet to count you know and give everybody you know then collected the to on people they just spoil on people to be counted then he distributed them upon among his people there are aware to where for every man was a four camel and a 40 sheep and if he was a knight you know a warrior knight in with, with a horse he took 12 camels and 120 sheep then, then the problem here what happened they, they took these women you know they spread everything they do everything what happened this one who defeated they come back after i think after one month or three four weeks like this they come back muslims you know they come back islamu islamu they come back muslim and they ask you know and they they ask back you know here here this said the story does you know after the we have muhajirin you know what happened in this out the, the prophet give uh, nearly all their money you know to the muhajirin you know to the Mecca people they give all the money to Mecca people and the Ansar when when think when nearly they're going to kill him here as we say who's come to help him Ansar they come to help him and they don't give him nothing and he was no happy after when he when this uh, when this thing split between people Ansar they was no happy and they can't talk to them and the prophet just do them like uh, tick tick and ta and you know and tell them why you're going to gender and ita and ta you know with the talk talk and they buy them with talk and then after everything you know they took from them everything they don't give them anything even if any people that time come to him he said i am your your brother from uh, from <laughs> from Rada'a or for what you call from <laughs> from breastfeeding he give him you know anybody come in that day two people come in one woman and a man he tell him i am your brother from breastfeeding and he give him you know so when things split and ansar is not happy and another one is not happy again those people come back as a muslim you know they they come back they come back to looking for them wife you know because because they think that time that well muslim cannot uh, you know muslims cannot you know sleep with our wives because it is permitted you know they, it's not happened before in arab culture before and then they was just coming to take them wife i don't think they're coming to take if you have a daughter or something like that they, it's that time was okay they were going to leave and they will accept the you know uh, the reality i think that time but they coming back from them wives you know them family and them wives if i have children so, you know, a little bit children so they bring them because they're muslims they said well we become now muslim and the irony of this and uh, when a delegation presented hawazin to the messenger of god who were 14 men they were 14 men that time uh, and they was with them in the like uh, he then head was zahir ben uh, surait and among them was abu Borgan, Abu Borgan, the uncle of the messenger. Even his uncle come in with them for breastfeeding. So they ask him back, you know, that captivity and women. So he said, when they ask them, you know, they go to the prophet and tell them, please, can you can you give us our women, you know, our women back? They tell him, okay, please, can you give us our women back and children? You can see now, now we become Muslim, you know, we are same as you, you know. You can keep money and you just give us, you know, give us some. Um, our uh, you know, wife back. Uh, the prophet said, "With whom you see, 
the best told to me is the truth ones so you sons and wives uh, love all your money why sell them tell them the, uh, the best thing for me is the truth you know don't lie so for you now which one you choose your your children and wife or your money uh, you know, uh, when you they always Muslim when we talk about sabaya uh, they bring this uh, you know this part of narration of hadith they tell you ha you see that uh, Muslim that Muhammad give them back you know uh, the wife come back you know there is no it's not uh, nothing to do them as we're gonna see this is not true neither you know nothing true in this one because they just got a piece of story and they told you that piece of story you know and they didn't finish this, the whole story so the Rasul he tell him I you can choose you know you you choose between your wife or your money you know you choose they they said well they said we we want to modify any term of uh, of agreement or calculation between you you know or modification in the calculation he said you know we we can't do it they said we don't have any power you know to modify anything you know you win you know you win and uh, you know it's up to you give us our children back you know our wife back so we are okay you know they are get so he said when i pray next morning then get up and say we will inc intercede with the messenger of god to the believer and we seek intersection with the believer to the messenger of god to turn back our family captivity so what he did he he not even tell them i give you back he tell them i can't give you back it's like this you know with uh, you know without telling them in them face directly he told them like this i mean i, I, not, I can't give you your wife back but i already give them so you just go into this thing you told me yeah told it to the people as like you you first time you're gonna say you know you don't don't say that i come to ask prophet and he say no then you tell me i ask you he said when not when i finish the prayer in the morning you come up and say uh, we ask the prophet on behalf of the prophet on behalf of the mumini give us our children and our money back our family back when he uh, when he prayed the morning they stood up and say that say something say that thing that he told them so the messenger of god said as for so he then come and said so uh, this thing he didn't tell them when they asked him first time you know uh, it's like he wanted to show you know to show people something you know that he is merciful you know well if you're going to give them back you just tell them you know tell them i give you you know i give you all back or my back and tell them first time why should you you know wait for them to say that in front of people you know so you can come and like a hero and you said and he's not even say something good he say something very bad as for what he said as for what as for what was mine and for Bani Bani Abdul Muttalib it's yours and I will ask the people for you yeah now but he told them the thing I took and Abdul Muttalib took is for you you know I give them back but the thing that other people I give to other people I have no power on it you know you can ask the people if they give you back if they don't give you back we can't do nothing for you uh, Bani Abdul Muttalib it's yours and I will ask the people for you then uh, Muhajirin and Ansar said what was ours is for our messenger of God the the most part of Muhajirin I think they agreed they said okay I was our hour was prophet was yours as for and for Bani Tamim Banu Tamim said no you know, Banu Tamim said no. Ayu uh, Nahna ibn Hussein said no. Yeah. Banu Banu Salim said no. فقالت Banu Salim أحب أن يستمسك بحقه أن يستمسك بحقه. Banu Salim said no. We took our. We don't give. We give our. What we took, we don't give. فليرد عليهم. We don't. We're not going to give them nothing back. ولكل بعد ذلك. Yeah. Then after him. You know, then after he bring them some back. But this is what you know. Was they give them back after? after a long time the the problem here the problem here we can we can just forgot this story happened but the hukum you know the hukum is still you know you can catch and this is what happened in the in the north africa in spain in you know andalus in the in in india and in, in everywhere this in, you you kill the people and you take the wife and children thank you guys for